Hello, Nev here, and today on Man Can Cook, I just wanted to explain why I haven't been uploading a video every week. Uh, I've recently just started a new job, so I'm just having a little bit of trouble fitting filming in with my new job. And I also haven't had a lot of time to do a lot of experimenting in the kitchen. Every time I post a photo on Instagram of poached eggs, whether my wife's made them or whether I've made them, I get heaps of comments, people asking, how do you do it? So today I'm going to be showing you how I poach my eggs. So for your poached eggs, you are obviously going to need eggs. A couple of points about the eggs, and this is really, really important when you're poaching eggs. You need to have the freshest eggs possible. So we buy our eggs from a farm nearby, and we know that they've either been laid that day or the day before. So I'm not sure how fresh supermarket eggs are going to be. If you want to test, you just get the egg, you put it in a glass of water. If it sinks to the bottom, then it's really, really fresh. The other thing about the eggs is I always cook them from room temperature. And to make it easier, I crack them beforehand into a little dish. It just takes away the pressure of cracking them straight into the water. You also need about a litre of water uh, in a medium saucepan. And to this litre of water, I add about one tablespoon of white vinegar. The other thing you'll need is a plate ready with a piece of kitchen towel on it to drain the water off the eggs. So you want to get the water to a fairly, I guess, medium boil. Uh, and then just really carefully drop the eggs in. And then set the timer for three minutes. If you think that one of your eggs might have stuck to the bottom of the saucepan, just move the water around a little bit and that usually dislodges it. And while it's cooking, you can just take any of the egg white off the top. And there's the timer, so we just turn off the heat and very carefully remove the poached eggs from the water and put them on the plate with the kitchen towel. And I've got a sweet potato kind of fritter thing that I've made to go with my poached egg. Uh, and so now we have the moment of truth. Fair to say I'm pretty happy with that. You can actually make these poached eggs in advance and store them in the fridge for a day. And then when you want to heat them up, you just put them in a little container with boiling water for a couple of minutes. And it makes the white nice and hot, but it keeps the centre nice and runny. Please click like if you like my video, and I'd also love you to subscribe. And when you do subscribe, make sure you click on the notifications button so that you get notified every time I upload a video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.